Hi guys, um, welcome to TS Tutoring. So the topic of today is empirical formula, right? I hope you guys are good. So what is empirical formula? Uh, empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element in the compound, right? That's basically it. That's what we're looking for. So many students get um, confused in terms of finding the empirical formula of a substance, right? So I wrote um, four steps that we need to follow in order to get the empirical formula. So the first step is that if we are given the composition of the substance, right, in terms of percentages, we need to convert the percentages to grams, right? You'll see what we mean. So remember, percentages, they add up to 100%. Therefore, it's equivalent to 100 grams, meaning each percentage is equivalent to each gram. For example, 50 percentage is equivalent to or 50 percent it's equivalent to 50 grams right so step two we find the number of moles remember if you have mass in grams you can get the number of moles remember it's mass divided by molar mass and step three after we get the number of moles right for each element we're going to divide those number of moles by the lowest number of mole remember we will have different elements with different number of moles the lowest number of moles we divide all those moles by it right and we need to get a whole number after the division if we don't get a whole number what do we do we move to step four for example if you get a decimal in step three we go to step four we multiply everything by two definitely we're gonna get a whole number right so let's see with an example so that you get what i'm saying now the first example right it says that we need to calculate the empirical formula of a sample containing 43.4% sodium, 11.3% carbon, and 45.3% oxygen. So remember the first step, right? Let me bring back the paper. Step one, convert percentages to grams. So we're going to say that uh, we have 43.4% sodium, right? So 43.4% sodium is equivalent to 43.4 grams sodium right you get where i'm going right so 11.3 percent carbon is equivalent to 11.3 grams carbon right 45.3 percent oxygen 45.3 percent right oxygen is equivalent to 45.3 grams oxygen so with oxygen we don't write it as a diatomic molecule right hydrogen nitrogen they're all diatomic molecules but we don't write them like that we just write one element right so now we are done with step number one let's go to step number two it says convert or right step two find the number of moles right remember we have the masses so we can get the number of moles so let's start with sodium so number of moles for sodium will be what n is equals to the mass of sodium which is 43.4 grams divided by the atomic mass of sodium which is 23 grams per mole then we're gonna get how much we're gonna get um one comma one comma eight eight seven right mole right then let's check carbon so right i'm gonna separate them by line so number of moles right for carbon this is for sodium right for carbon it's going to be the mass of carbon right it's what 11.3 grams divided by the atomic mass of carbon how much you go to your periodic table you get that is 12 right which is grams per mole now we're going to get um 0 0,9417 0 0,9417 mole right then we go to oxygen right we're going to say now i'll underline again so number of moles for oxygen remember i said you write it as one element right not a diatomic molecule so it's going to be what 45.3 grams divided by the atomic mass of one oxygen not a diatomic molecule remember usually it's going to be o2 so it's going to be 2 times 16 but now it's one so it's 16 right grams per mole then we get that is 2 comma 831 
mole right of oxygen so we are done with step number two right so we're going to step three divide the mole of each element by the smallest mole now between these three moles which one is the smallest the smallest is 0 0.94 right so we are going to divide everything by 0 0.9 um 417 right let's do it here right let's try to do it here so let's start with sodium it's 1,887 right divided by what 0 0,9417 right then how much are we getting we are getting that is 2 Point zero, right? Two point zero. So that's for sodium. Now, with carbon, we we found that is zero point nine four one seven. It's going to be divided by zero point nine four one seven, which is going to be equals to one. Remember, this divided by itself, it's one. So we have one carbon. Oxygen, we got that is two comma eight three one, right? then it's going to be divided by the lowest mole is 0, 0,9417 now when we divide that we get that it's actually 3 right so it's 1,0 then it's 3,0 then it's O right oxygen so we are done with step 3 then step 4 says if on step 3 we get a decimal we need to multiply everything by 2 here we did not get any decimal so these are whole numbers is two is one is three now we can write our empirical formula so when you write your empirical formula just follow the statement that you're given start with the element that you're given you're given sodium carbon oxygen therefore our empirical formula is going to be what it's going to be sodium sodium how many sodium two right carbon it's one so c how many oxygen o three so ladies and gentlemen, this is our empirical formula. Easy. This is how you get an empirical formula, right? So I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed the video. I hope it was not confusing. If you have any questions, please comment and remember to subscribe, like and follow us on TikTok at TS Twittering, Facebook TS Twittering, YouTube it's TS Twittering 2. Please subscribe and like. Thank you for your time and goodbye.